So comedians all around were scared that something like this may happen much more frequently ever since the Will Smith situation with Chris Rock, you know? And it's crazy that it's happening so soon, not even two weeks after the situation happened. So what's going on? Let me set the stage is T.I. confronted a comedian. We had the footage. We're about to go over in a second, but I got to give you a quick backstory. I'll talk more after this video. T.I. and his wife Tiny was accused of doing some weird things and some sexual assault claims were coming from some people even close to the family. That shit did stop a lot of bags for T.I. So it's a sore spot. A comedian allegedly made a joke about that shit. So let's watch the interaction. There was no fucking crime. There is nothing to charge me for. Or no, no, shut the fuck up for a second. Hey, listen. No, no, no. The many times you jump on that shit, nigga, I'm going to check your motherfucking ass as long as it takes. Nigga, when you stop talking about it, when you stop playing with me and mine, I'm going to stop saying something. Nigga, ain't no motherfucking case. Ain't never been no motherfucking case. Cause I ain't did nothing wrong, and my wife ain't did nothing wrong. And if you keep on playing with me, nigga, I'm gonna motherfucking continue to confront you publicly, verbally. Catch yourself. Verbally. You say verbally. You want that back? I'm gonna motherfucking continue to confront you publicly, verbally. Verbally. <laughs> We never had a forum on crime. T.I. is innocent. I truly believe it. Get it up for him. There is no charge. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Don't play with me about that. I haven't put his hey, 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 hey. Don't play with me about that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. The one thing I am is a comedian. I'm not playing with you. See, now you're going to get this on the They cut his mic. This is not that. This is a motherfucking comedy show. And be clear. If I want to make jokes about something, I'll make jokes about something. Absolutely. Oh, you're not going to tell me to shut the fuck up. It's my shit. This is my shit. Be very clear. This is my shit. Cut the mic, too. All right, man, have to cut his music. Sit down. His music may not slide. He has to his drink. Whatever the fuck is going on, y'all see some shit about me go viral. Guess what? For comedy, it's up for fucking grabs. And nobody is excluded from that. Okay. And I love T.I. I love T.I. Somebody play on Millie. Really. This nigga, I love him too. I know we don't have heated conversations. Y'all don't ever get it twisted. This some shit, hey, this some shit for us, nigga. Let's have these conversations. Not in my comedy show, but let's have these conversations, nigga. This some real ass shit. Turn that shit down. This some real ass shit, nigga. Cause understand, comedy is fucking hard. When I told you these people get on stage and they share shit with y'all, that's hard to share, that wasn't no cap, nigga. That shit is hard. Ain't nobody writing for us, nigga. Ain't <laughs> 
Let's get high. Shake the one. I'm going to explain this one time. This is about what happened at one night only at our bar on Edgewood with myself and T.I. T.I. came to the show. It's about over anyway. It's an open mic. He comes. He does like 30 minutes. Now, after he gets off stage, I'm going to the next shit. I'm hosting. I'm talking about marriage and shit. He keeps cutting me off, telling me to shut the fuck up, calling me all kind of bitches, heckling me. So I'm like, all right, come on, stop playing with me. Like, it's crazy. You keep going and I can't say nothing to you. He then starts yelling about how I need to take my wig off multiple times. Take your wig off right now. Cutting me off. Take your wig off right now. Because a lot of y'all are saying I took a cheap shot. This nigga was literally going on and on harassing me. I don't know why my eyes turn hazel. That shit is really ugly. But anyway, I said, I'll take my wig off when you speak on the allegations. Nobody was tight except for him. Nobody was trying to, nobody ever called him a rapist. I responded to him telling me in a room full of people to rip my wig off and made a joke just like he did. So if you got a problem with it, not mine. Okay, so that's all the footage I have right there. But um, damn, um, pretty intense situation. Um, it looks like the people just get drunk in the comedy comedy club, and that's what happened right there. But um, that is a sore spot for Ti because a lot of things, a lot of backlash came for that from that. And it was a real tough situation for him and Tiny. Um, from what it looked like, it was you know just all fair game until you know it's a situation a lot of people feel like they could monetary the game for me but what happened was um a year or so ago a year or so ago one of tia and tiny's friends they fell out with them and that person decided that they wanted to start a bunch of um me too type shit they wanted to start a bunch of claims saying that they sexually abused some people basically what it seemed like is that you know they was having a bunch of sexy parties a bunch of orgies and shit a lot of x y and z was involved but it all was consensual it all was consensual, and a lot of people were paid as well. So everyone was compensated, compensated accordingly based on, you know, some people claims other people may not have had as good experiences with the tool based on whatever may have happened. They felt that they want to take the opportunity to go ahead and join in on slandering their names. After the time passed, no real charges were ever filed against Tiana Tiny, or if there ever were anything that happened, that shit was all thrown out by the wind and um it was just some bs but behind that situation it was a lot of bs for ti to deal, deal with he had a podcast he had a podcast but due to all that drama the podcast was basically cut it was no more podcast from all, based on you know like i said all that damn drama that happened and stuff like that and there was so more things i'm pretty sure we don't know all the business that people have behind the scenes but i'm pretty sure it was much more much more things that 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 affected his life based on some all allegations based on whatever so that's a sore spot for that guy thank god that situation did not get physical beyond a little hug but he snuck in there and stole the mic from us so he can go ahead and talk his shit but that's a crazy situation right there i'm interested in hearing what you guys got to say about that i'm gonna go ahead and get the fuck up out of here though boy stacy and i mess with you and the reason why because you messing with me hey i'm out